He's a beauty. Boy, he's got a big thick neck on him. Shot was perfect. He went, I don't know, I suppose 80 yards here. Well, I gotta get him out of here, oh my goodness. We got some work cut out for us getting, we are in some thick bush here. So we really got our work cut out for us getting him out of here, but uh, it'll be worth it, I'm sure. How many of you know that feeling? And I hope you do, because it really is a great feeling. That sense of dread of trying to figure out how am I going to get this great big deer back to my truck, which is a mile or a mile and a half. In the case of that first one you saw, it was almost two miles from the nearest road. It, that feeling goes away pretty quick once you get that buck back to the truck and to the taxidermist. So uh, I've been really fortunate in all the deer that I have killed that have, some of them been a long ways from the road. I've been uh, very fortunate that uh, I've never had to actually bring one out in pieces. Um, I know that people, I know people who have had to break a deer down, quarter it and bring it out in pieces. And I've done that with bears a couple times. So I've never had to do that with a deer. My strategy of getting a deer back to my truck has changed over the years and now I have brought a lot of deer out of the woods in a lot of different ways and of course you know it's nice when a buck has handles on its head so you can just drag it but there are much easier ways even than that and um, I started with a deer cart, a two-wheel deer cart, and I frankly, I really dislike those things. There's much, much better ways, so I have put that completely aside. I don't use a two-wheel deer cart anymore. There's two primary ways that I get a deer out, and one of them is to use a sled, and the other one is to use a four-wheeled pivoting crawler deer cart. I love both of these methods much, much better, and I will show you what I've developed that works really, really well. Now, first of all, um, the idea of using a sled is something people think of when there's snow on the ground, but it really works really well at any time of the year. And uh, you can put a lot of stuff in the sled too. Typically, I'm not just hauling a deer out, but uh, I filled my tag and I got to get all my gear back to the truck as well. So um, I'm, you know, loading as much of, of it as I can in a sled and hopefully try to do it in just uh, one load. Now, here's something really cool that I've developed to, to use with a sled that has really helped me a lot. I use this water ski rope handle and I've cut it down short and I just use the handle. Now the handle you can attach to the front of the sled, it just makes it so much easier to pull the sled so the rope isn't binding in your hands. And the nice thing about this water ski rope handle is the fact that two people can grab onto it and off you go and it just makes it so much easier to pull. So that's the advantage of using a sled. Now another way that I've hauled deer out a lot and I'm using more and more in situations um, where uh, I can get a deer cart back in. A lot of times I take this four-wheeled crawler deer cart, I'll take it back in to haul my gear in, then I'll just hide it somewhere in where I'm hunting so I have it available to haul my gear and the deer out. Um, I even pull this thing behind a fat tire e-bike at times and that it, that works really really slick. I just attach it to the rack on the back of my bike with a um, a couple of real stout bungee cords. I, I'm still looking for a better way to do that, but uh, it, then at this time, you know, it works adequately. And uh, I haul the deer out that way, and that works pretty slick. The crawler deer cart has pivoting axles and, and tires that, uh, that can't go flat, so you can just roll right over the top of, you know, rough branches and, and logs and stuff like that. It's a really simple way to get a deer out. So, Ideally, if you got a buddy, that's really helpful, but most of the time I'm hunting by myself, so I don't have a friend and I've got to get these deer out by myself. The, the cart and the sled are the two primary methods that I use depending on the terrain and where I'm hunting. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you've got good ideas, drop them in the comment section below. I'm always open to suggestions. I'd love to hear from you on what you think of my methods or if you've improved on them. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a discussion about this. So hopefully this helps you. 
I uh, hope you get a big buck and uh, I hope you have a good way to get that thing out of the woods and back to your truck where you can take a deep breath and enjoy the satisfaction of the moment.